Welcome to Fort Park and welcome to our Hyperia update for today and we'll start you off in the car park however we've got some different views for you let's get on with it there is Hyperia it's the first time I've seen Hyperia without the crane going up and look at it and I've said in our comments and I said in our other bits as well just look at Saw because Saw is right next to it it's a bit hard to judge with stealth there's Saw I mean a staggering if you're trying to scale just how big Hyperia is, oh my god, it's this big. Standing over by Lakeview, this is again the view of Hyperia. So of course, this is the first time we've seen Hyperia from this side of the fence. Usually we're tucked over in the corner looking at it. And I'm telling you now, if you think it looks intimidating from out there, just take a look of it in here. We are going to be going in very, very shortly to have a closer look at that and the station. Wow. I tell you, from this side, it does look really, really good. Look at this. Here is Hyperia. Now from this side you can see as well that a lot of the cabling and wiring has indeed been installed around the side. So of course while you can uh, really appreciate it from outside, inside the park, that looks insane. Just insane. So the project started in April 2020, just as it went into lockdown is what we're being told now. And obviously it gets tweaked, they kind of send off what they want. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, two side supports actually still haven't been installed up the top, so it is kind of self-supporting itself, so they're still to go in. It may have something to do with the fact that the rest of the railings haven't gone in yet, less of the stairs. So here you can see the shop. We've been looking at that from over the other side. Um, you can see there is going to be an entrance in the front area as well. We're expecting sweets and treats on there, and of course the Hyperium Hyperia shop. But I don't know if you're ever going to get bored of seeing this view. It must be this, it must be that, it must be the other. Um, this is a rough budget. What do we, what do we go? And we, we write a, a 
So you can see the cabling is indeed starting to go in and ready. So last time we were here, this was all clear, but now it's not now. So there we go, there is an on-site look at Hyperia. Some interesting information there as well. But it looks far better from this side than what I think most people thought it would. So again, the views, and you can see sort of the dive angles here, are insane. And of course, from this side as well, we take a closer look at the shop, which starts off quite small and then kind of spreads. As far as I'm aware, I think the, uh, the sweet and treat place will be incorporated into this. It doesn't look like there's any other building sort of going up. Here is the stairwell. So this is going to be 200 odd foot in the air. And you can see the support as well. And of course, Hyperia itself. We get a chance to see the top of the ride as well. And you can see the controls that will be at the top. People that have to go and switch those. So here is the turnaround point. And again, getting to see the angle of the track. Now they did say with the chain as well, they're actually not worried about getting the train in because it's something they can just drop and it should just, it should just come down in stages. So that'd be really interesting when that happens. There is Hyperia. So update from this time from inside the park. Um, something we did learn today as well. So this was a 16 month project. To get it open for opening day would be 13 months. So we'll let you do the maths exactly when you think this coast will open. And I still believe it's opening end of May. It's not been confirmed, that's our speculation. But take that as you will, to get it open on opening day it would have been 13 months and we've been told it was a 16 month initial project. But from Fort Park, from Hyperia, some new shots for you today. I hope you've enjoyed them and we'll see you next time.